Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for replacing the crank shaft position sensor on this 2023 Chevy Equinox with the 1.5 liter turbo engine. If you find value in this content, please like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get started. Okay, so before we dive underneath the vehicle, let's go over a few symptoms. So the symptoms include stalling intermittently, start fine in the morning, and then once the vehicle warms up, it's hard to start, a no start, surging, rough idle, and the ever-present check engine code P0017. Tools needed for this repair include a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and ratchet. You'll also need a lift to lift the vehicle up so that you can get underneath the vehicle and a lift support as shown in the picture. Please see other items in the description below. Now let's go ahead and move under the vehicle. Okay, heading underneath the vehicle. I'm gonna try to hold the camera as steady as possible. So moving underneath the vehicle, you can see the jack is in place there. I'm gonna kind of swing over towards the passenger side and then quickly get underneath the vehicle. I have a flashlight and there you have it. So if you look right there in your picture. So this, this is probably the best angle I'm gonna get. And so I'm gonna just describe it to you. So right there, you can see in the background, there's a sensor with a red locking tab. And if you see my hands coming into the picture, just above the constant velocity joint coming off of the transmission for the passenger side of the vehicle, if you go just above that and right there, you can see that I'm touching the sensor. And so I'm not gonna actually remove this sensor because it's, it's just really straightforward. But so this is what I'm gonna tell you. You loosen this 10 millimeter bolt right here, okay? And then there's a red tab, which is the locking mechanism. You're gonna slide that outward towards the, the wire bundle. Once you do that, you're gonna squeeze the end of the electrical connector and the electric connector will simply pull off. Examine the sensor itself. Once you have either um, examined it and determined that it doesn't need to be replaced or that it needs to be replaced, you can go ahead, install the sensor. You may need to rotate it 90 degrees so that the screw is uh, lined up. One thing, if you're replacing the sensor, you'd want to put a small amount of lithium grease or dielectric grease on the O-ring and make sure that that O-ring does not get twisted when you're installing it. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I think this is pretty straightforward. The primary thing here is actually identifying the sensor and the location. And I think that's the, the pro tip for this video. So we just covered tips on the removal and the replacement of the crankshaft position sensor on the 2023 Chevy Equinox. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.